What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction and welcome back to another episode of the final let's play of Battle for Bikini Bottom. So last episode we had some pretty difficult times at the Mermelair, so yeah. I'm probably gonna cut some pieces off because you know it was it lasted for like more than 30 minutes, which shouldn't have, because I don't know. That level was just treating me like complete shit. But now on this episode we are actually gonna go through Sand Mountain. And also we are going to defeat Robot Patrick if we have enough time. So let's continue on. Ah, Jesus. I'm still pissed. I'm like, I'm just, this is like a back to back recording. And like, I'm still pissed about the ball challenge. <laughs> like, I usually get that in one or two tries. Maybe three if I'm that unlucky. But this time I was just like really, really, really crazy unlucky. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything's ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. i found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! And they were never seen again. <laughs> he never gave us the, the spatulas. It was just mainly Mrs. Puff, Larry, and just Bobuddy. Okay, let's wipe out this machine. Let's go get this uh, shiny object clam. Shut up, Plankton, please. Not in the mood to talk. Oh, I missed it barely. Whoops. There we go. Man, this sand mountain's gonna look beautiful in the remake. Can't wait to see it. I'm just looking at it right now. It's like, man, goodbye to this old version. It's all dusty and crusty and old. Okay, so where is Sandy? Oh wait, there's another sock right here, I believe. Pretty sure that's not even the legitimate way to get up. That's pretty much the only way you could see. Oh, okay, never mind. Ugh. There we go. So now we got the going spatula for pretty much this entire area so now we just need to go into each of these three slopes to get this done so let's go through slope number one which should be probably the most simple slope i don't i don't believe you need to use sandy in this one so really this one's going to be a breeze Kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. I mean, how does she roll down this hill? Like, if she would just fall in straight off, if she rolled down. I wonder why this 
it's so weird how this music plays. Like, uh, why is I don't know why downtown bikini bottom music plays when I'm doing this slide, and then right when I pass this slope right here, the, the actual music plays. Isn't that weird, guys? I don't know if this happens only to the GameCube version. I'm not sure if it happens to the PS2 and the Xbox One. So yeah. Okay, so the slice should be done soon. Like you literally had to be stupid to like not get this slide done the first try. All right, so now we just have to defeat the robots over here. Not dealing with you right now. Surprised none of those lightning things even hit me at all. Too bad you can't pass with flying colors in the <laughs> in the boating test, right? So we're, we pretty much already have enough to beat Robot Patrick. All we needed was 40, but you know, let's just finish this level just to, to just to get this over with. This is like one of the more challenging levels if you don't know what you're doing, and this time I can actually say that with confidence because you know. This level does not tend to screw you over like it does with the Mermaid Lair, so yeah, thank God for that. So this one's gonna take some absolute concentration. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Yeah, why not? Let's just do this as SpongeBob first, get this over with. Go the let's go this route. Okay, it's not gonna let me because this game's a dick. I don't know why it does that. The gravity just completely fucks you over. I get it. Okay, let's do this. I just made the decision like too late. Okay, so in this there's like a secondary goal that we have to do with this specific one. And involves like taking down eight snowmen, like in the middle of the track. I mean, you could do this multiple times. You don't have to do this in one run. So thank God for that, because I would really lose my shit if that was a thing. Because these things are pretty hard to find if you don't look up a guide or anything. So yeah, I don't even know if I'm I'll even beat the time in this round, but. I want to focus more on the snowmen because they're a lot more they're a lot more difficult to find. But like no, I already know where they all are. Thank God. I remember I spent like a whole 3 hours looking for this. Like it, it got so bad to the point where I was thinking like maybe it was a glitch that he like the robot or like the snowman wouldn't show up. So here's another one just in plain sight. Okay, so this specific area here is like a complete bitch to you. This one hides the snowman like a freaking... Oh, there we go. We hit both of them. No! Okay. Oh, thank God. I could heal up back at the main area. 
Oh, I lost by like one second. Alright, right, whatever. Man, these guys are like ruining me a lot. Okay, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get these snowmans. Because I keep getting hit by like all this bullshit. Oh man, that's what happens when you deal with projectile robots. Honestly, I never liked enemies that are like really too projectile based in a platformer game because they just get really, really annoying. And plus they put like the game designers, but they put them in certain spots where like they know you're going to have a hard time with them. Like they'll put you in mid-air spots so it can mess you up, especially in this game. When you're in the Flying Dutchman's graveyard, there's a lot of those types of robots. The Chuck robots. And they'll end up like... Like, once you get hit by them, it's over. Like, there's no way to get around it, you know? So, uh, let's... Oh, you see, I'm missing a snowman right here. Forgot him. So, for now, let's actually switch to Sandy and let's just deal with this, uh... This snowman crisis first. So, I believe there's a snowman over here. No, actually, no. Okay, where can I go? Ugh, dude, I have to die. No, actually, no, I don't think I have to die. This might be a little bit complicated to do. Because there's a snowman all the way over there, but I use this method sometimes just to get through it a lot simpler. This might be more difficult because I'm trying not to get hit. Uh, snowman should be here. Right there. That's the very last one I had to hit. And the sucky thing about this is that if you die, you have to start this all over again and it sucks. There we go. So the last robot should be on the left side this time. The last one was actually the hardest one I... But it took me forever to find. And it was in such an obvious spot. So now we're going to go on this side. There it is. There we go. Ah, oh, snowmen are destroyed. They call them sandmen, but I'm just gonna call them snowmen. Whatever. So after this, we just have to just beat the time with SpongeBob. It's not that hard. I'm probably just gonna cut it to the end of that because you know I, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me do this over and over again. And like the paths are pretty easy, so it's not really that difficult. Just follow the ones I'm taking. You'd be pretty much golden. I believe there's like one more sock that we had to find here. There's not a lot of socks in this. Oh yeah, there actually is a lot of socks in this level. Alright guys, well I'll be back once I finish the the Spongebob portion of this. Alright, so I'm back. I finally finished the the little time challenge. So let's just get the special and get the hell out of here. Okay, so now we need to go into slope number three, which isn't actually hard when it comes to socks. But we probably are going to have to do this twice. Okay, let's see. So Sandman, we have all three. Okay, yeah, so... 
at this point we're supposed to have three socks missing, which are all supposed to be in Sand Mountain, so yeah. Thank God. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, the last one's over here. Okay, so let's focus on let's focus on SpongeBob first. This shouldn't be too hard with him. All we need to do really is just beat the time. Uh, we just have to take a certain set path. It's not really that difficult here. Just follow what I do, and you pre you pretty much get this. And this is pretty dangerous for like skiing. Okay, so let's go up here. Man, that was a long fall. Be careful when going this path, this is the right path to go to, but I don't know why, sometimes it will knock you off course for some reason. Like, you end up jumping into the thing and like, it'll just completely take you out of the slope. It, it feels, it's weird, I don't know, if, I hope they fix it though. There, if it's a few, it happened to me a few times while doing this time challenge as a kid. Just a little bug just to talk about there. Ugh. So there's the last spatula in the battle area. Did, did I beat the time? I beat the time, right? I'm pretty sure I beat the time. I, I wasn't paying attention because I lost my memory from all these freaking robots. Okay, so now all we need to do with the spatula, then all we have to do is get the freaking two remaining socks left. So 45 out of a hundred so it's pretty good right now considering we're le less than 10 parts in so let's get these last two socks Let's actually hit this switch first. Pretty sure eventually you'll go back. I'm not sure. Like I have to like make that hole again. So I'm pretty sure it's already going that way. So I don't think we have to worry worry too much. You see, you see, you see what I'm fucking talking about. That's how that's how precise this motherfucker is, and a lot, a lot of you guys were telling me in the comment section, "Oh, uh, this guy's not OP." Really, not OP at all. Definitely. 
I've never seen an AI projectile with that type of accuracy. So we have like 50 out of 80 socks. Now we all we have to do is just get the last one. I'm like, what's that noise? I usually don't go through that area anymore. I usually just go through this cave. So that's pretty much it. We don't have to do anything else, right? So I'll, so now what we need to do is go fight Pat. Patrick so yeah let's do that real quick and then we'll end off this whole video oh thank god it's almost over my back's hurting I can't lie that stream kind of messed me up the one with the the movie game it took me like five five hours to complete like in the whole live stream dude that took life like like you guys were enjoying the whole thing but like dude I was in so I was in like searing pain with my back like just my my tailbone too, like the the bottom, like the little bone on the bottom of your butt. Sandy trailer. Wow, you're so good. Great barrier reef. This is probably like the only robot that doesn't have like freaking aimbot type aiming or like projectiles. Where like literally everything hits you at once. So she don't round you go. <laughs> I was starting to fill up with the goo. I like how there's always one box that just like has it right there for him. Like just he just gives it to you just so he can get the hit off of him. Let's 
There he goes. It's time to roll out some robot punishment. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Go see Doe and around you go. Oh my god, let me get him! Oh my god, he's 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 invulnerable in that area. Never mind, never mind, never mind. God, why did that take so long? Alright. I thought there was a part where I couldn't hit him at all. I'm just like, no. Where's he gonna land this time? Oh man, all the way over there. Speed it up. There we go. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob. He's gone. I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fillers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket to regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Hmm, something's fishy here. All right, anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys like it and make sure to subscribe if you are new. My name is Triforce Addiction. I'll see you guys on the next one where we'll be doing Rock Bottom.